Ready bows. Sail. Seagull. Catch the wind. Let the sail out! Strike up a tube. We need an epic tale. I know a crazed man about my age called Roker. We are taken to calling Roker the Rodent for his habit of collecting axes. For 20 years he collected axes of all make and size. He had never seen a day of battle, but he swore to Thor that he would. In his 31st year, after drinking too much ale, Roker seduced another man's wife. That man called a Holmgang against Roker. Roker accepted the Holmgang, and on the agreed-upon day, he laid out 12 of his axes and asked, Which of these will I use to slay you? Will it be Bone Splitter? He said. My bearded blade inscribed with Sather... Hold on, good... Were you at the good part yet? No Will it be Bone Splitter? He said. My bearded blade inscribed with Sather runes, affixed to a handle of English oak or blood fountain, he continued. My Danax, which swings through the air on two hands with the speed of an arrow's flight. Or might it be Twin Wolf Wounder? Roker growled, growing even more bold. Sail out! Fierce pair of throwing axes. We will pick up from there. Useless here. Let the sail out. Ah, where were you? Or might it be Twin Wolf Wounder? Roker growled, growing even more bold. A fierce pair of throwing axes. At that moment. The man who had challenged Roker brought a large stone down upon his head. Roker died instantly, and his axes were given away as gifts. <laughs> no other man! <mask. laughs> Let's have a song! Is there a cease called among? me tell the tale of the six Christian missionaries I lured away from their faith into the worship Hush now. All right, back to the story. Have you heard me tell the tale of the That's six up. Christian missionaries I lured away from their faith into the worship of Almighty Thor? You sure? Save it for later. Let's see you, old friend. I need your eyes, my friend.
Good timing. We would have stormed the place without you. What have you seen? Soldiers are plenty. Wagons going in and out. That weasel Borgred is here. I'm sure of it. The bathhouse there and that church, see? I sent a scout to check them both. Should be back at any moment now. Did you see Uba and Sigurd in Templarbrach? Burkrit's wife was hiding there. Uba's taken her back to Tamworth. Something wrong? My brother, that's what. No small tension between you two. Thought you'd be more like-minded. You and Sigurd, you always see eye to eye? More often than not. You are still young. You live to my age and you will see. The closer you get, the greater the stink that rises. Time's up for your scout, I'd say. He's either dead or run off. Give him a chance. Can't risk them seeing us and Burkwood slipping away again. You stay here and wait for your scout. I'm going in. This must be the bathhouse. Need to find a way inside. Do go on.
tempted to take Tamworth back from the Danes. We're to secure our food stores first. Lay off for its orders. Lay off for its orders? <laughs> the king's grown tired of him, you know. That's what all the men are saying. Tired? How do you mean? Are you blind? He questions Burgrid's orders every time he gets. That's done ever since the Danes showed up. Not off now.
goods they've hidden away. Tibi erit ipse benedictus, non vivet in ignorantiae sue providentiae, verbum autum dei quod es multis sermonibus, et parum habens significatione. The church is well guarded. Might find a way around. Areas off limits.
crates full of food and supplies. Burkwood is not giving up without a fight. Have you lost your mind? I feared you were one of them. Keep quiet. What are you doing here? I'm... I was looking for Burgred. You are Ivar's scout. I hoped I might find Burgred myself and talk him into surrendering. But he's not in Leatherchester. How can you be sure? Leofrith passed this way with some men. I eavesdropped. It seems they're only stockpiling food here. But he did say something of interest. Gave orders to send more men to Burgred's wife. The Lady Arvel's with. She's in Templebloch. Not anymore. We stormed the fortress and took the Lady back to Tamworth. She would know where Burgred's hiding. Can you hear that? The sounds of battle. Ivar. Let's... let's get you out of here, now. Where are you going? I know my way around. We'll go through the market. This way. Stay close to me. What? What do I do? Fight, man. Fight! Are you hurt? Speak up. I... I don't think so. My god. I didn't want it to come to this. They would have killed you, Chilbert. You had no choice. Now don't move. I'll be back. Where is your king, Saxon? Where is he? Lord our Father, grant me salvation. When does their god find the time to answer so much mumbling and whimpering? You are reckless, Ivar. Jailbird could have been killed. Who am I to stand in the light of a boy searching for his balls? Don't excuse yourself. You enjoy this too much. Stop. It wasn't Ivar who sent me. I sent myself. Have caution, boy. Until your father is crowned, you are Mercia's enemy, not its champion. You understand? I understand. Good. Now return to Repton and remain there until we call. Will you not stay, Wolfkist? There is no king, but we have corpses to loot. I'm off to Tamworth. The Lady Athelswith may be singing a sweeter song.
Your turn. She won't talk to me. Aver will handle it. Go on. You have exhausted my friend Uba here, but I'm wide awake. Maybe tell me where Burkrit is hiding and let him rest happy. Never. Stone-faced and tight-lipped, all for a king who hides like a cowardly vole, too scared to protect his family and his people. Thirsty? <laughs> my husband does what he must for Mercia. How could he do otherwise? ...knowing that even his closest friends could betray him. Give that traitor Cheowulf my message. He may win this earthly battle... ...but the devil has won the war for his soul. He stabbed you in the back, true. But the people of Mercia are scared... ...and Cheowulf offers them a balm for that fear. I spit on him. Whatever life he makes in Mercia will be built on the graves of the nobles who gave their lives to defend it. The longer you drag this out, the truer that becomes. We've taken Repton, Tamworth, now Tamblebroth, and Letterchester. With each victory, your hope for peace recedes. Yet Borgred has what you do not. The loyalty of his people. Good men. Faithful men. Who? The Thanes and Chills of Mercia? No, no. Only Leofrid remains loyal, and he too will fall. Yes, goodly Leofrid. He will die defending his king. And win or lose, he will send a hundred more of you to hell. Eivor? Your ladyship? Do not mind me. Only here to count my spoils. Oh, God! Out, Ivar. Now. All right, all right. But if you mean to stay, mind the smell after they finish this. My, my God! Get me out of here, please. Talk now, and we'll draw you a nice warm bath. You, you are asking me to betray my husband. How can I do that? If you don't, you will betray countless others. In legend. You may be remembered as the king and queen who abandoned their kingdom in its darkest hour. But there will be peace. This is Chaelwolf's promise, and it will be honored. You have my word. Does the caged bird sing? Burkrit is hiding, in an old crypt to the south. ...where the Alne and Arrow Rivers join. A crypt? Now tell me this is not a sign from the gods. It's a long way to carry a king. The three of you must clear path back to Tamworth. Where can we meet? Bring him to the bridge at Venonus. It's a straight line through. We'll deal with any trouble there. How many more times will I have to curtail your spectacles, Ivar? Spectacle? That's just me. Pile the soldiers here. Let these people bear witness to the carnage that awaits their kingdom.
They're off. More sail! Who will share a tale? There was a woman called Nal. He came by ship to Pornberg and heralded, demanding to meet King Sigvaldi, Styrbjorn's father. Nal was from Gautland. She was tall Take the and mask rugged and strong, and everyone who walked near her said she smelled of men's blood. When a hey! message was sent to our king, Nal was made to wait a full day. Yet she did not complain. Mask up! She watched the waves and sang songs. Night came and went, and still Nal sat by the shore of the fjord, singing her songs. She skipped rocks with children and smiled. As the afternoon of the second day approached, King Sigvaldi's messenger reappeared. They spoke quietly together. At last, the messenger stood back and waved to some men nearby. Three men bearing three chests of silver approached quickly. They set the chests of silver in Nal's ship and stood back. Then Nal stepped forward, swinging a large, bloodied sack before her. Nal opened the sack and emptied it on the shore. Seven pairs of hands tumbled to the ground. Nal then mounted her ship and sailed away. <laughs> Sail down! Guard for a musty crypt. Cannot be the dead they're protecting. Must be blocked from the other side. Sends chills up my spine.
Got to be down here. Where are you hiding, Vagret? Must be getting close.
bloody crypt sends chills up my spine. That's a bread knife, my lord. Do you mean to butter me? Stay back! Back, I say! I'll fight you! If you insist. You'll have to kill me! Luckily for you, you won't come to it. This kingdom is mine! Mine! You'll have to kill me! Time to go, my lord. We're late for the crowning ceremony.
Ready. Sail. Catch the wind. Liarfrith, I, I sent him away with orders to destroy you. Quiet. The mess you're in, you don't know the half of it. You're a blight on this world. The whole lot of you, a rancid disease. You don't deserve Mercia. To the victor and the spoils, my lord. You must win Mercia to deserve her. We need to go! Fast! Right behind you. Look familiar? No! No, you... You godless slugs! You won't get away with this! Change has come, Burgred. All that remains is a coronation. A witten with the Lords of Mercia. Burgred, my love! 
My lady, are you injured? Did they hurt you? No, no. I'm fine. Move along, Lord. Your king awaits. Your death will come, Danes. Your end was writ the moment you came for me. I have made damn sure of that. The Zealots will know your name soon enough. No matter where you are or how far you travel, they will hunt you down. Enough of that, you squeaking sparrow. <laughs> Let my brother be the lunatic of Tamworth. Zalitz. What does he mean? Ignore him. Desperate pleas and prophecies. Nothing more. Walk with me, Wolfkist. We have some time before the ceremony. Where to? Nowhere in particular. I only want to celebrate. Didn't think you were the time. You have drawn a dark conclusion about me, haven't you? That is all very good. I've drawn some about you as well. Are you leading a lamb to slaughter? See what I mean? Dark. Too dark. You there! Get lost! Sit down. I know I have been a cock. But you are a good fighter. I respect that. Let it be said that Ivar the Boneless considers Eivor a friend. Who calls you Boneless? Some backrout I killed in Hibernia. Used his guts to shine my spear. Called me Boneless because I move like a reed in the wind. Not because you're always too drunk to plow? Valhalla. That is where I am bound. I can smell the blood and taste the mead. I will sit beside the High One with my axe in hand. A fitting end for Arachnison. You would think, eh? Me, Hafton, we will be there. But Uba... No. I do not think we are chasing the same victory. Not anymore. What does Uba want? To grow old and fat on a farm somewhere with little Ubers to chase about. He wants an heir. It's a common dream. Not for a warrior. Not for Drengir like us. He was different before. But this place, England, it softened him. What was he like before? Like me. Ferocious. Wild. With respect, I don't think anyone is like you. If that is a compliment, I missed it. All I mean to say is, things were easier some time ago. If it bothers you so much, why not strike out on your own? Because he is my brother. I love him. And I will do what it takes to drag him back around to my way of thinking. We are warriors, all. And that is to the death. again. Oh, did I miss the drowning?
Where is my son? We sent word to Repton, but we've had no word, Lord. I suggest we carry on. You sought me out, old friend. And here I am, standing before the throne from which I reigned not long ago. You stand before us to accept this Witten's unanimous decision. That you are unfit to rule, and are hereby deposed. We demand the abdication of your kingdom and your crown to Thane Chairwolf. Mercia has spoken, Lord. The crown. Is that you, old friend? Ah, yes, I see it now. <laughs> Forgive me. The robes of righteousness sit so loosely upon your shoulders. If the heavens mismark me as king, forgive its obscuring light. Amen. Now, where is my crown? Forgive my nerves. Here I am, an upright man who never once learned how to bend the knee. And yet, I shall try. Ah! How simple it is. How easy to kneel without fear and feeling. He's mocking you, man. I'd kill the fucker. Worry not, Dane. I shall resign this crown and this pagan-infested kingdom and the favors of these two-faced men. But I will do so on my terms. My demands are simple. Firstly, you must... Uh. You fool. Look around you. You have no leverage here. Plead for your life, for it is the only thing these men will grant you. Yes. Yes. Forgive me, I... I do not harm me. I beg of you. Please, I'll go anywhere. Here, I, 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 I resign it. Here. Take this lord and his wife to Rome. He is hereby exiled, never to return. The Witten recognizes King Chairwolf of Mercia, second of his name, a just king. A merciful king! God save the king! It better be worth all this trouble. Mercy and soldiers marching on Repton! Leofrid. Loyal to the ugly and the bastard. Gather what men you have and split them between the north and south gates. That should divide his forces. Cheobert is there. Evo, you must save my son. He will come through this, I promise. I will stay here with Geowulf. Go. <laughs> 